Hey everyone, welcome back to new content. Today we are going to discuss about the engineering to order. So engineering to order is nothing but we can just manufacture a product once a sale order is confirmed. To manage with the ATO, we have to just head into the inventory module and from there, let's go to the configuration settings to manage with the multi-step roads that would allow you to manage with the MTO. So just drag down where you can find a section called warehouses and you have to enable the multi-step routes. So as you have enabled this feature, you can save the changes in the settings and let's move on to the configuration menu where you can just find routes over here. So here you can see that there are many routes except MTO. So now we need to unarchive the route. To unarchive the route, click on here and you can see a filter called archived where you can find all the archived routes. Now select the route that you want to unarchive and let's go to the action and click on unarchive. So currently we have just unarchived the routes. Now let's move on to the uh, sales module and we are going to manage with the product table. So we have just received an order from the customer for table. So as the customer confirms the order, we know uh, a manufacturing order will be automatically created as we have just enabled the MTO. So let's move on to the product. Here you can find the product which is um, table. So here you can see that we have just given the name of the product as ATO table. This is because as a sale order is done, we have to manufacture the product table. And under the inventory, you can see we have just enabled the replenishment on order and we also need to enable the manufacture so that as the customer confirms the sale order, a manufacturing order will be automatically created over here. Now, when you just move on to the general information, you can see that the product type will be set to storable product. This is because this is a physical product so that we have to find the inventory movement of the product and you need to set the product type as storable. Currently, I'm not setting the sales price of this product because we doesn't know what will be the price once the product is manufactured because we will be manufacturing a product with a combination of different components. So I'll be keeping the sales price of this product as one. Now, we also need to calculate the surveys of the manufacturing. So we have to consider a service product for the ETO, which means while manufacturing a product, we will be charging um, the prices for manufacturing. So the type of the service, I mean the type of uh, the product will be service because we are manufacturing and manufacturing is a service product. So you have to set the type of the product as service and we can set the invoicing policy as prepaid or fixed. And we will be creating a task on this so that we can analyze each stage uh, for the service as well as uh, we also need to set a project for this. Like the project will be having different stages such as designing the table, reviewing the table. I mean, uh, once the review is complete, we can manufacture the product. So here, here you can say that and the surveys will be calculated based on hours. Okay, so you have to set the units of measurement as so. And here you can also find the sales price uh, is set to 100 because it takes $100 for one hour manufacturing process. So you can see that it's set as 100. Now let's move on to the orders and let's create a quotation. So let's create a new quotation for the customer. Um, Azure because he is one of our frequent customer and here we are going to choose the product which is ETO table and here you can find the description as well as the quantity and the unit price over here and we also need to select the uh, service product which is ETO service and you can see currently it takes five hours to manufacture the table and we require um, almost five quantity of table and you can find the price over here so currently this is just a documentation because currently this is a quotation so as we just confirm the quotation we know a sale order is created and you can see a task and project will be created upon the adding the ETO service product because we as we just use the service product we also set 
a task to be created for the service as well as to create a project for the service. So you can find the task and project over here. So as you just move on to the task, you can, you can find the project associated with this um, task and you can also find the customer and this has generated from the sale order and the reference has given over here. Now we have to add the timesheet uh, over here because we have multiple employees that is to design the table, uh, to review the table and finally to manufacture the table. Right. So we have to calculate the time uh, that is taken to manufacture and how potential the manufacturing is. And we have to uh, just get the charging upon the time spent on manufacturing. Right. So here you can directly go to the sale order if you want to just view that and you can also find the project from here. And let's move on uh, to the sales order that we are dealing with. Currently, we cannot uh, just deliver the item because uh, we don't have sufficient quantity. You can see that the product availability will be set to not available because we don't have sufficient quantity of table over here. And we know ETO is nothing but as a customer confirms the order, a manufacturing order will be automatically created. Now let's move on to the project. So as you just move on to the project, you can find the project that is associated with the sale order. So let's move on. And here you can find a task under the ATO table because we are dealing with this. The table is under designing and you can just view the task over here and you can see the project that is associated and all other details. So currently the allocated time for manufacturing um, the table is just by hours. So let's uh, choose the assignee because we have multiple assignees over here which is Michel Admin as well as uh, uh, Mark Demo. So Mark Demo is the designer of the table and Michel Admin need to review that. So let's see what time they take for doing that. So let's move on to the timesheets and let's mark their time that they are taking to design the table. So here you can just provide the um, description as designing. Designing the table. Um, it takes three hour. Okay. And which is Mark Demo. We know Mark Demo is the designer. And now Michelle let me need to review the table. So here. Okay, here you can just provide it as reviewed and it takes almost four hours to review. So you can just save this and yeah, well set. And here you can see that the remaining hour is minus two. This is because we have just allocated only five hours for manufacturing, but it takes two hours extra to design and review um, the table, right? So. If you want to just move on to the sales order, you can directly move from the project. And once the designing is done and move to review, you can just change the stage over here. And you can also find that as you just move on to the ETO table, you will be find that the uh, table is reviewed and the time that has taken, that is the extra time that has taken will be viewed over here. So we know as a customer confirms the order, a manufacturing order will be automatically created for this. Now let's dive into the uh, manufacturing order. So we know that we are dealing with the product um, uh, table. So let's consider the product first from the sales order. So here you can choose the product uh, table. And here we have to consider the bill of material for the product. Because to manufacture a product first we have to yeah, deal with the um, BOM. So here currently you can see the quantity and everything. So let's uh, go to the uh, change the quantity into five because the customer needs five quantity of table. And here we have to add the components and operations that to be performed in this BOM. So we need a table top um, with five quantity. And we know a table has four legs. So five into four will be 20 because we need to manufacture five table. So each table will have four legs and we can just set it as five into four as 20 legs we require in total. 
and we also want bolt because we need to screw them to make it more stronger so we need 80 bolt over here so afterwards you can just save this and um let's move on to the eto table and you also need to ensure that you have just provided uh the correct timing over here so here you need to change the time um i mean the time that need to manufacture so currently you can see that the quantity that given under the service is five and the delivered quantity is seven so let's change that into seven well set so the time taken to design and review the table is seven and you can find over here and let's change the unit price of the product because manufacturing of the product takes um yeah the price uh, of the components are different and finally once the product is manufactured uh the total cost of the product will be different so in here let's provide it as 100 yeah let it be 150 dollar and let me save this okay well set now we need to manufacture the item so in order to manufacture the item let's move on to the manufacturing module where you can find a manufacturing order will be automatically created over here in draft now let's choose the manufacturing order that is table and you can see the components over here and the work orders which uh, is the operations that we need to perform this is a step that i have just missed out while i was explaining about the um bluff material we know that to manufacture a product we have to undergo with a certain operations so we have to cut the uh wood and uh, just doing the operations under the work center cutting stations and we have to assemble the items uh, and that will be 10 from the assembling uh, stations so you can see the number of quantity that will be uh, cutting and assembling in each of the stations and the expected duration is also given over here now let's confirm the order so as we just confirm the order now you can see that the quantity that to consume and the quantity that to produce everything will be shown over here so as you just move on to the work orders now we need to start the process so these are waiting for the components so first in order to cut the components we have to just start the process under the cuttings i mean cutting station and once the cutting is done now we need to assemble the table so you can just start the process and you can just finish that so we have 10 with the process now click on produce all to produce everything so you have confused consumed a different quantity than expected so you can just confirm this and let's um go with this finally when you just move on to the product table you can see that the on hand quantity will be updated to five because we have manufactured the product over here okay now let's move on to the sales module now we need to uh, just deliver the item to the customer so here you can see everything is set and we are going to deliver the item to the customer so currently the product is available and you can just validate the process so once the validation is done you can just create an invoice for the ETO so let's create the invoice so confirm that and you can see that the analytic distribution will be automatically set as ETO table over here now let's register the payment and you can choose the journal and payment method over here so after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. So this is how we manage with the ETO in Odoo. So hope this concept is clear for you as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.